Hey there, Justice Egan here, cutting a quick video to share with you uh, some key components to growing your MLM business online. Now, you know, I don't know about you, but uh, if you're anything like me, you were out there kind of searching for solutions. You know, people were giving you all kinds of kind of promises online as to what it takes to grow your business, as to this, the magic system, the strategy, whatever. If you're kind of over that stuff and you want to understand the principles that are going to get you from point A to point B, then stick with me through this video because that's what I'm going to share with you. And, you know, when you really break it down, you need three things, right? You need an audience. And this goes, the, the, the first two of these go for building a business online or offline. If you think about it, offline, what do you need? You need an audience, right? People to talk to, you know, um, a, a, a list, list of prospects, a networking group, whatever, friends, family, that's an audience. People who uh, you can reach out to, people who are going to hear you out. So you need an audience. Number two, you need influence with that audience right? That audience needs to see you as a person of value, someone that they'd uh, want to listen to, someone who's, um, you know, whose advice or whose who's, uh, knowledge about business or this, uh, this opportunity that, they're, that you're bringing to them. Uh, you know, you have to be a word, how do I put it? You have to be a, um, a person who they will know, like, and trust, right? But also a person who they see as someone who's going to take this thing to the top or someone that can help them. Right? So you, you need audience, you need influence. Now, when you move it online, okay, the last thing you need is you need infrastructure. You need a platform through which to communicate, to capture people's attention, to, you know, to, to get your message out in front of this audience. That can be as simple as a Facebook profile. Uh, it can be as complicated as a, uh, a very complex sales funnel. But those are the three things you need. And, and a lot of times we have a tendency to overcomplicate lead generation and overcomplicate making sales online and recruiting online. And if you just focus on that and don't try and build your audience everywhere, you know, pick a place where you're, pick a, pick a form of infrastructure or a platform that you're going to focus on to grow that audience, right? And then make sure to bring a lot of value to them so that you create influence with them. The best way to do that, the best way Way. to create influence um, and to create authority is to teach right to bring valuable content to that audience so that they have an opportunity to get to know you to know like trust you and uh, eventually many of them will raise their hand and say I want to know what you do I want to know more about your business okay now at the beginning you might be reaching out right they, uh, a lot of times everybody's just waiting and I apologize for the wind if it's uh, getting picked up on the microphone but uh, you know at the beginning a lot of times everybody's just waiting when do they come to me listen you still have to prospect but the difference is, okay, if you want to build a network marketing business, the difference is online, right? You can, you, can get, you can see signs, get people to raise their hand, and you can reach out to people that are paying attention to you, that, that see you as an authority, see you as someone that can help them, see you as somebody that would want, they'd want to do business with. And for that reason, okay, they're a lot more open if you reach out and you prospect because you've created that influence uh, through your content creation, through your posts, through just finding that voice of leadership and exhibiting it online and being a person of value, right? Not just someone that's out uh, pitching them for your own gain. So those, those are the pieces. Um, you know, I encourage you to keep it simple at the beginning. If lead generation is something you want to learn about, uh, it's something I've been talking about a good deal this week. Actually doing a webinar Tuesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern, where I'm going to teach you the five steps to generating high quality leads for any network marketing business. I'm going to show you how to put these pieces in place online so that you can start building that audience, attracting the prospects, and making your recruiting a heck of a lot easier. So I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. If you got value out of it, make sure to drop a comment below. Share it with anybody uh, who you think might find value in it. And uh, make sure to go down below above this video. Find the link to register for Tuesday night's webinar and get registered. Uh, I'm going to dive deep into the subject of lead generation and online business growth. And I think you'll find it really helpful. So I'll talk to you very, very soon. Hey there, Justice Egan here. And thanks so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and got loads of value out of it. If you did and you want to see other videos like it, make sure to go up there and subscribe to my channel. You'll get notifications when I put new videos up and I put them up all the time. And if you're in the home business space, MLM, network marketing, affiliate marketing, and you want more leads and sales for your business using the internet, head on over to justiceegan.com. You can grab my latest course, Online Recruiting Mastery, where I'm going to show you exactly how I generated over 30,000 leads online and recruited more than 1,000 people into my business. So go on over, grab that free training. I'll be talking to you very soon.